Give your outdoor space a burst of strength combined with stunning sleek looks in the easy to install Keylink vertical cable railing system. Delivering a streamlined stainless steel infill for a full open view, this vertical cable line virtually disappears from sight while protecting guests and pets from a tricky fall. As always, be sure to check local building codes before installation. What you'll need, vertical cable posts by Keylink. Vertical cable level rail kit by Keylink. Vertical cable post skirt by Keylink. Cable railing flat post cap by Keylink. Tape measure. Structural screws or legs. Drill. Circular or miter saw. Two two and a half inch blocks of spare wood or material. What's included? A leveling plate. Mounting brackets. Recommended Keylink touch-up paint. Cable tension gauge by Keylink. Cable gripping pliers by Keylink. 3 16 inch Allen wrench. A level or speed square. 7 16 inch socket. Set your Keylink posts in position according to your deck railing layout and place the included leveling plate underneath the base plate. Partially drive in the four structural screws through the base plate openings. And then use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to turn the set screws until the post is plumb. Remove the Keylink vertical cable rail kit from the box and unwind the rails away from itself until you can lay the section flat on the ground. Gently pull the top and bottom rails tightly to each end of the cables. Use a tape measure to find the distance between the posts and subtract a quarter inch from the total length to allow room for the brackets. If trimming the section is necessary, be sure to cut evenly from both sides of the rails to keep spacing even. Also, be careful not to trim any closer than a half inch on either side of the cable to avoid cutting the cable fittings in both the top and bottom rails. Determine the number and position of the stainless steel support rods per the length of your section, and then cut the cable in the middle and remove the unnecessary cables from each rail end. Then, insert the support rods into the now empty holes. Place all included flange nuts on the cable ends and then use your hands alone to tighten the nuts of the cables on either side of the support rod. Don't tighten any other cables. Slide the mounting brackets on the top and bottom rails and let them sit loosely. Set two two and a half inch tall spare pieces of wood down between the posts. Set the railing section directly onto the blocks. Confirm that the top rail is at the correct height from the deck surface, and then using the self-centering lines on the post, attach the bracket to the post using the included flathead screws. Then, use the included panhead screws to connect the bracket and the rail. Repeat this step for all four brackets in the section. On each post, use a rubber mallet or your fist to gently tap the post cap in place. Then, attach the two-piece post skirt in position around the base plate of the post. The last piece is to tension the cables, which is really simple but must follow a certain pattern. Use a 7 16 inch socket to rotate the hardware within the rail while using Keylink cable gripping pliers to hold the cable itself from moving. Begin with the cable closest to a post. Tension the cable until reaching your desired level or the recommended 100 pounds of tension. Then move to the cable on the opposite end of the section closest to the other post and tension similarly. Work from side to side, tensioning the cables closest to support rods, and then gradually move inward until reaching the center of the section. Here's a handy chart to keep the progress simple.
Add an exciting deck railing to your family's outdoor space and keep your impressive vistas intact with the Keylink Vertical Cable Railing System and Dex Direct, helping people build better decks.